Greetings, we're at DVM Rising event in the middle of our intensive week of uh, Data Vault and Ensemble. And um, I'm here with Chris and yeah, I guess it's been four or five years we've known each other or something um, like that. Closer to three. Okay. It's, it it seems like four or five. Yeah, well, but... that's, I'm getting tired of you. <laughs> <laughs> or you're getting tired of me. No. Mm. Um, no, that's probably about right. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, it's been it's been a little bit of a while. Um, thanks for coming uh, all this way to the conference. We appreciate it. It's been great. Yeah. And um, you heard the uh, theme we have here, more or less, is the um, business modeling for the Agile Enterprise. Uh, you heard about Elm and the Ensemble Logical. And um, so uh, what are your impressions? What do you think of all this? Um, I think it's uh, good timing. For, for something like this. So um, it's something that we've identified as a gap in our company, um, really being able to gather the needs of the business and then translate those into our warehouse model as well as our presentation model. And we, we attempt to work in an agile fashion. So we have stories that, uh, that are put together and we've got our bullet points and sometimes some additional descriptions in the stories. Um, but that's really not enough. That's, that's not enough to describe what's needed by the business and actually produce um, you know, some kind of product that we can deliver to them. And the Ensemble Logical model, I think, fills that gap. It's a way in which we can meet with the business, um, kind of tease out from them or extract from them uh, what their needs really are, and then um, build that into a model that we can then move forward with. So it's, it's very timely for us that, uh, that I happen to be here and, and you happen to be presenting ELM. Awesome. Yeah, and it's actually the kickoff, so this was the first time it would have ever been presented, which is interesting. Yeah, so obviously it's good for if you're using ensembles like Data Vault, and you've been working with Data Vault for how long now? Well, about three years, so mm -hmm. my association with you uh, was roughly around the, the starting period. So that's period how you for, knew for the Data year Vault. so well. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, it's exactly. roughly the same time. All right. Well, as, as you're looking into, kind of change the topic, if you're looking into the future now, like the next three, four years, is there something on the horizon you see that's uh, very exciting for you that you're looking forward to getting into? I think for us, uh, it's, uh, it's perf kind of perfecting some of what we're doing right now. Um, but also we've been, um, we've also been involved with Hadoop, uh, synonymous with, with, with big data. And what we kind of found is that um, uh, it's not that we're not going to continue to use Hadoop, but we're finding kind of where it's best used uh, within the organization. And so in, in some ways, uh, we have stepped away from that platform. And, and where, did, where did that go? I mean, we, that, that leaves a gap. Um, it went back to relational. So I really see relational um, kind of uh, coming back into, into vogue or becoming uh, uh, a greater need for, for relational, which means we need relational models and we need people that, uh, that can, can build those models. So um, I think for the next two or three years, I think we're going to see a resurgence in relational and also in particular in uh, dimensional model for the presentation layer. Hmm. So more data vaults on relational warehouse models, more dimensional actual models. Yeah, that's really interesting. I'm not going to ponder that fully now, but I'm 100% with you on that thought process. That's really interesting. When the hype cycle goes away, you're left with a couple of architecture options, and then it's what is the best architecture option in this case, and of course, while big data has been growing, the relational database engines have gotten stronger and more interesting, so yeah. Right. So we'll continue to use uh, the right tool for the right job, I think, is what, uh, what it comes down to. Awesome. Well, thanks again for flying here and being with us and uh, at the conference. We really appreciate having you here and participating with the group. And I uh, look forward to the rest of the week being action-packed. Yeah, me too. All Thank right. you. Thanks again.